We begin tonight in the foothills. The Best Western Hotel will no longer be moving forward with plans to house asylum seekers coming across the border. News 11's Cody Lee joining us from that hotel with the very latest tonight. The Best Western here on Frontage Road planned on closing to the public and would have only been used for housing undocumented immigrants. But over the weekend, that plan came to a screeching halt. Migrant Hotel No More. That's the new update from Yuma County Supervisor Darren Simmons, who says the Best Western will no longer be housing asylum seekers. Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols also confirming the news on social media over the weekend. He provided News 11 with a statement reading, in quotes, the decision not to place a second Endeavors hotel in Yuma is a good decision. The current immigration crisis is a federal issue, and as such, the impacts need to be borne by the entire nation, not just small border communities. The mayor goes on to say this decision addresses the disproportionate impact the second hotel would have on our economy as Yuma's hospitality industry works to recover during the peak season that we missed last year during the pandemic. Simmons said says fencing and other federal vehicles are now gone. He believes the decision could have been a result of opposition from several community members, including a petition and at least one protest. It's been the community coming together and voicing their concerns and their about not having this facility in their neighborhood. It, it was a bad situation, in my opinion, because of the location. It's right up front, front center in the foothills. It's on South Frontage Road, which is a busy road. Endeavors is the Texas-based organization in charge of housing the asylum seekers, both in the Yuma foothills and at the Wingate in Yuma. Currently, the Wingate will continue housing asylum seekers. As for the other hotel, it will be open for bookings as normal, but could suffer financially from that loss, given a recent report from the Arizona Hotel and Lodging Association stating that hotels in the state are on track to lose $1.3 billion in business travel revenue this year. We've reached out to the management here at the Best Western. However, they did not want to answer any of our questions, only referring us back to the mayor's social media post. We're also still waiting to hear back from Endeavors. Reporting in the foothills, Cody Lee, News 11, back to you. Cody, thanks, and our News 11 team is following this closely. For the latest on this developing story, be sure to download our free mobile app.